Hello students, good time to all. I am Chandan Kumar Pradhan. Welcome to your YouTube channel Chandan Physics. In this video, we are going to discuss Enfield's theorem and its proof by using direct wave function method. There are two types of proof for that of Enfield's theorem. One is direct wave function method, and another one is Heisenberg's equation of motion. But here we have to discuss about the proof in terms of direct wave function method, and the proof based upon based on that of Heisenberg's equations of motion are studied later in that of upcoming classes. So let's begin. What is that of Enfield's theorem in quantum mechanics? The expectation value of the observables behave in the same way as the observables themselves do in classical mechanics. Why? It will be same because the motion of wave packet should agree with the motion of corresponding classical particles. That's why. The observables in that of quantum mechanics play that of same role that are played in that of classical mechanics. So here, if we consider for one-dimensional motion in one D, in one D, m. d by dt of that of expectation of x at the position gives rise to the expectation of that momentum in classical mechanics that is same that is mass into rate of change of Displacement or position that is the velocity mass in velocity gives rise to momentum. Again, the rate of change of momentum that means the expectation of p x gives rise to the expectation of that of force. We consider one dimensional motion in x direction. Now we have to prove. One by one. How to prove? The expectation values of coordinates x In one dimensional motion, in normalized state function, normalized wave function, let's say, therefore. We can write the expectation value of that of position x written like this: integration from minus infinity to plus infinity, psi star x cap psi dx. Here, the expectation of psi. We can sorry, psi cap psi gives rise to x psi. That will be minus infinity to infinity x. Psi star psi dx. That is minus infinity to plus infinity x. And the modulus of psi square dx. That gives rise to minus infinity to plus infinity x. That is the probability density dx. Expectation of x, where 
रो विथ प्रोबेबिलिटी डेंसिटी एंड इक्वेशन नंबर वन नाउ डिफ्रेंशिएटिंग दैट इक्वेशन वन विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू टी डिफ्रेंशिएटिंग with respect to time t we get that will be d by dt of expectation of x d by dt of integration from minus infinity to plus infinity x rho dx which implies d by dt of expectation of x the integration from minus infinity to plus infinity x d rho by dt dx at equation number 2 we know uh, from the equation of continuity from the equation of continuity that uh, del rho by del t is equal to minus grad dot j or we can write it in term uh, in terms of uh, x component as we consider one dimensional motion that is grad dot the x component j x that can be written like this minus del jx del x hence that equation 2 becomes and again again where where jx that is the probability current density jx with the probability current density and its value will be i h cross by 2 m psi del psi star del x minus psi star del psi del x Value of j x. Now equation two becomes hence equation two becomes d by dt expectation of x is equal to minus. here is the minus sign minus integration from minus infinity to plus infinity x del jx del x dx now multiplying m on both sides They prefer that equation number three. That is equation number four. Now multiplying, multiplying m on both sides. M stands for mass. M stands for mass on both sides. And integrating by parts 
we get here we use the bypass method that is m d by dt of expectation of x is equal to minus m integration from minus infinity to plus infinity x del j x del x dx minus m minus infinity to plus infinity that is x del j x now here we use the bypass method as we know let u b u and b be the two function when we integrate it with respect to x then we treat b as the first function that is integration of first function u as constant minus integration from that is integration of v dx and derivative of second function du by dx its integration that is the bypass rule here i just use that bypass rule therefore minus m that is x j x from limit minus infinity to plus infinity minus integration from minus infinity to plus infinity that is j x d x look here that term becomes zero since at uh, minus infinity to plus infinity as psi and also j x goes to zero as x tends to plus minus infinity here only exist existing term minus minus plus m integration from minus infinity to plus infinity j x d x here just we put the value of j x what happened now i write here putting the value of j x putting the value of j x we have that is m d by dt expectation of x m when we put the value of j x here we have i h cross by 2 m and that integration from minus infinity to plus infinity psi del psi star by del x dx minus minus infinity to plus infinity psi star del psi by del x dx again use the bypass rule in that of first integration 1m 1m cancel out i h cross by 2 here use the bypass rule we have psi psi star from limit minus infinity to plus infinity minus integration from minus infinity to plus infinity psi star del psi by del x dx then as usual term that term minus integration from minus infinity to plus infinity psi star del psi by del x dx we just use the bypass rule in in first integral look here that 
term becomes zero only that term exist here this and that this two are equal therefore we have i h cross by 2 here we get minus 2 integration from minus infinity to plus infinity psi star del psi by del x dx 2 to cancel out we have minus i h cross integration from minus infinity to plus infinity psi star del psi by del x into dx now i h cross multiplied here minus infinity to plus infinity psi star minus i h cross del by del x of psi dx that one is nothing that is the position operator minus infinity to plus infinity psi star that is the position of op operator px cap psi dx that term can be written like this the expectation of px that we have the expectation of px m d by dt of expectation of x this one is the first equation of that of n phase theorem now second one can be proved taking the differentiation taking the differentiation here we have the expectation of p x that is m d by d t expectation of x now differentiating differentiating with respect to time t we get d by d t of expectation of p x again d by d t of m d by d t expectation of x that is m d square d t square expectation of x that is m expectation of x that gives rise to the expectation of acceleration mass into acceleration that gives rise to x expectation of force it is d by dt of expectation of that of momentum so the equation in terms of classical mechanics are same in terms of quantum mechanics as we write in it in terms of expectation values of that of given observables so with the help of this video lecture we understand what is uh, n phase theorem and its proof by using direct wave function method first equation proved then second equation proved so with this useful and informative notes let me wind up this session thank you